actually after him. We've heard that. Aggressively trying to pers pursue Carmelo in order to keep LeBron in Miami. However, Miami joins Houston, Chicago, and Los Angeles, to name a few, in the hunt for Mr. Carmelo Anthony. Stephen A., um, when we return July 7th, where will Carmelo Anthony be? Unfortunately, Kerry, Skip, I can't definitively answer this question because a lot of it is contingent on what Miami is able to do. If Miami is able to create cap space, Carmelo Anthony is going to Miami. If they are not able to do that, then I would, I would bet my money on him staying in New York because the other options available to him don't appear to be that attractive. For Houston to get him, they would have to get rid of bodies or work out a sign and trade. I don't know if the Knicks would facilitate that. For L.A. to get him, they've got the cap space, but there has been numerous rumors that the Lakers are not as interested in Carmelo as Carmelo would like them to be. And when you consider that, combined with the fact that Kobe Bryant, fresh off Achilles tendon injury and then a cracked knee, is coming back for the final two years of his deal, and you don't know what else is around you, plus the Lakers don't even have a coach yet, you've got and Jim Buss is still running basketball operations, there's a lot of question marks, and Carmelo doesn't want to find himself in the same kind of uh, a precarious bubble that he is already in New York. Then you look at Chicago. Tom Thibodeau is an exceptional coach, and we all know that. Chicago's rough and rugged. There's no doubt about that. I think Carmelo is exactly what Chicago needs. But at the same time, even though the greats like Sam Smith and others will educate all of us and categorically deny that there's any truth to the rumors that Thibodeau runs dudes into the ground in practice, you do hear that from time to time. But one of the things nobody denies is that Thibodeau's relationship with John Paxson, who runs basketball operations for the Bulls, could be better. If you're Carmelo Anthony, do you want to walk into that potential cesspool? That's a problem. And so as a result of it, it would be one thing if everybody's even. But with the Knicks in a position to give him $30 million more than anybody else, if you're going to sacrifice those dollars, the situation has to be ideal. And the only thing that appears ideal at this moment in time would be Miami if Miami creates room. He wouldn't mind being with the Clippers, but they ain't willing to unload Blake Griffin for him. He wouldn't mind being with Chicago under better, more ideal circumstances, but even then they'd have to amnesty Carlos Booz and get rid of Mike Dunley v. St. Jr., you know, those kind of things. You look at L.A., there's just Kobe. Everything else is a question mark. So it's a tough decision. The only thing that's surefire for Melo is to be with LeBron. If he can get to LeBron, Melo will go to Miami. If that's not the case, based on the pitch that Phil Jackson and Derek Fisher combined have made, combined with the money that's there for him to make, and the fact that there aren't too many attractive offers out there, if I had to bet my money, it would be on him staying with the New York Knicks if Miami can't create the cap space. So it's really Miami or New York. That's all I got for you right now. Okay, so right now, Stephen A. on the hot seat, gut feeling, on July 7th, Carmelo is what? Just just gut feeling it. Wow. Just just right out of your your heart. My gut, my gut, my gut feeling tells me it's New York because I don't believe Miami will be able to create enough space yep. to get him. I know he'd run to Miami okay. to play with LeBron. Okay. If they had the space, but I don't believe Miami will be able to pull that off, and my gut tells me he will probably stay. If I had to bet my money today, Skip, it would be on New York. I am with you on that. I think he will stay in New York, and I think he should stay in New York because I believe, and I could be wrong about this, I think Phil Jackson will prove to be a very good team rebuilder or builder. I, I believe that sooner than later, Phil will do good to great things in New York. And... Again, the reality of the situation in Miami is that all three of those guys would have to opt out and opt back in at so reduced salaries that they would all three have to swallow enormous amounts of pride and money to sacrifice to get Carmelo there. And then I, I hear this from so many people, Stephen, a quick thought on this. Would, would the league somehow try to get in the way of that yes. deal? Would, would they, after what we saw CP3. with Chris Paul going yeah. to the Lakers? Exactly. You, 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 you yes, I remember well, that. Well, 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 well. 
Here, here's, here's what the league would get in the way for, y'all. They would get in the way, in my opinion. They would get in the way of those three together and somehow Carmelo coming. They would try to get in the way with that. They, 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 would, they would raise an eyebrow. They would investigate it. But at the same time, if, say, Bosch left and Melo came, I don't think that that would be a problem. Mm. I don't think that that would be a problem because okay. one of your guys that was making 100 million left. So it makes sense. You see okay. what I'm saying? Now, I want to reiterate what I said yesterday. I will not at all be surprised if Carmelo winds up in Houston because I have the utmost respect for Daryl Morey and his his sort of gamesmanship. His deal making capabilities are just extraordinary to me. I I don't know how he got James Harden out of Oklahoma City. And he did land Dwight Harden. I'm, I'm sorry, Dwight, Hard, Dwight, Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard, yeah. And that owner has had, as we talked about yesterday, a, a long history sure. of, of shooting the moon, man. Whoever's out there, I'll go get that guy. And that guy right now, to me, the realistic get for them would be Carmelo Anthony. And I think he would be a good fit in Houston. I think he would like it there. But again, I personally want to see him in the Mecca. That, that he has been in at MSG well, as, as the Knicks rebuild around him. Here's, here's what everyone should absolutely love about Carmelo Anthony. First of all, he's an incredibly nicer guy than he's ever given credit yeah, for. I agree. People look at him and they go back to younger years and stuff like that. They try to call him a knucklehead. Even back then, he was a nice guy. He just don't yep. play and he's no punk. But he's actually a very, very nice guy. That's number one. Number two. What you must love about him, first of all, last year to me was one of his better years because the Knicks were a debacle. It's just that simple. And this guy, to come out there night in and night out, average 27, second leading scorer in the league on 45% shooting, he carried the Knicks on his back night in, night out. I'm telling you, it was something sensational to behold. It's a damn shame that he's getting a bad rap for it. Number three, and more importantly, Here's what Houston doesn't have that New York has. New York is also nicknamed not just the Mecca, it's Gotham City. It's bright lights, the glitz, the glare, the whole bit. Very few dudes love it like Carmelo Anthony. Yep. I'm not talking about the bright lights just so you could be on The View with your daggone vest dressing like Urkel like he did a couple of years ago, and I got on him about that. I'm not talking about something like that. I'm, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about knowing that the hype has descended on a particular place and everybody is coming to see you to perform. Mello answers that bell. He looks forward to it. That's why as an offensive player, he's a star because he wants it. And Houston doesn't offer that. Houston's a big-time city. I love it there. I don't blame Dwight Howard for going there because that's his personality. But Melo's personality is more tailored for either New York or the show that LeBron and D-Wade and those boys have cultivated in South Beach or L.A. But L.A. is just too discombobulated right now for him to pick that over a New York or Miami in my estimation. So to sum this up, Stephen A. Smith, yeah. I would like you to use your influence with LeBron James okay. and Carmelo Anthony and say, just hold off on your decisions uh -huh. until, until July 7th. Until we return, the show returns. Can you do that? Man, I don't, listen, no, why do that? Then that would require me to do some work. Let Chris Broussard, Mark Stein, <laughs> Brian Wintors, all our exceptional NBA insiders, let them work, man. Yeah. Okay. And then let them do it. I, I am fine mm -hmm. sharing the wealth. Please don't look for me to break nothing. I'm chilling. I'm going away. I don't want to see anybody. I know. I yeah, want to talk to y'all. Cut to. I, I want no, to be all over Sports Center. Center. I want. Yeah. You'll be on Sports Center. You'll be on Sports Center. No, 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 no. no, no. I, sports Center, don't call me. Oh, okay. Don't call me. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm looking forward to my break. Stephen Trust A. Me, comes to us live from, from no where is it? St. Thomas or you, wherever you are? Stephen A. live in St. Thomas with the yeah. breaking that news. That was last year. Yeah, okay. You I got, got to go to a different locale this year. Uh, okay. We I got can't it. take it. They can find me there. <laughs> Carmelo Anthony uh, met with Phil Jackson and uh, the top brass in L.A. this week and said that it was a good meeting. Meanwhile, he has until Monday, June 23rd, uh, to notify them of his decision. Coming up after the break, will the Redskins change their name?